Welcome back. So 82% of the coral reefs along Kenya's coasts are damaged. Climate change and overfishing are threatening to wipe them out, but at Kuruwitu in Kilifi County, a community is taking steps to conserve it one year after King Charles III visited the conservancy and engaged the elders on the importance of conserving the marine life there. Francis Talaki reports that the king's coral structure has become a centerpiece and a popular local tourist attraction, flourishing with marine creatures despite facing a major setback in February as sea temperatures continue to rise. Are you developing bigger? In November 2023, King Charles III visited Kuruitu Conservancy, helping coral restoration and planted this coral structure. This structure has become a centerpiece of the Royal Coral Village and a popular local tourist attraction. Ujeji wake umeleta impact ya kupata wageni zaidi kwa sababu walipata report kwamba mfalme mwenyewe alifika Kuruwitu na kupanda matumbawe. Kwa hivyo wageni hufika kuangalia na kuona ile matumbawe aliyo mfalme aliyopanda. Hii ni moja wapo na pia ametupatia nguvu vile vile ya kuzidi kuelezea kwamba utunzaji wa mazingira ni muhimu hasa kwa upanzi wa matumbawe. At the time the king engaged the elders and the ocean lives coral team on the importance of conserving marine life and how to overcome the challenges of rising sea temperatures and global warming. One year after his departure, the biodiversity is on mend and the group continues to get new species of marine creatures and an increase of coral fish in the surrounding area. Kuna samaki kama frogfish alikuwa amepotea na samaki wengine wengine vile vile ambao alikuwa amepungua sasa wameongezeka zaidi. It is tranquil at Kirito Conservation Area. Popularly known as the King's Coral, a year later, the structure is flourishing. Dixon Juma and his team, who are the ambassadors of marine conservation, tells us residents have embraced the idea and no one is allowed to pick any coral or sea creatures here. Ahi na sedia sote kwa jumla kwa sababu kama unatukota takataka, unazika mali ambapo pako pako sawa sawa. Hii itafanyika kwa mba samaki watongezeka. Na hata vile vile pia kasa hawa utafariki watazidi kuwa kwa kwa wana wanongezeka. Manake ukimtua ule mnyama ndani ya maji kama starfish ama kama shell zile za tiger shell. Inakuwa ni vibaya, mana ni kiumbe kile. Na ukikitua huku inje ya maji, kinapata shida. Marine creatures have made this their home. A lionfish girls over it and blue green chromis have found protection in the brown king's coral piece but in february 2024 when all seemed normal on the surface beneath the waves all was not well as sea temperatures continue to rise the king's coral and other corals faced a major setback we had a terrible coral bleaching event a worldwide global event in the beginning of the year and that affected all the coral here i think we've lost about 30 percent of our coral um, in this area um, and it affected obviously the, the coral we planted for for the king um, however we we don't give up we we've replanted we've learned uh, which species is more resilient and we replanted that on on his uh, on his structure and the structure remains to be a, um, a tourist attraction here. And so I think, again, the community have benefited from, from that. Um. They have been able to come back to life. And that's something we are very happy about. Because the corals we planted are resilient. And after the, bleach, the bleaching event, they are able to come back. Across the Kuruit Reef, corals once like this have bleached and died. Their nurseries are struggling in the overheated water and beautiful corals, some are decayed or are in trouble. Being the festive season, they are now urging tourists, both local and international, not to pollute the environment, but always protect marine life along the coastal strip. Kwa hivyo, sengine wengine huwa wanakuja kwa njia nyingine, wakifika pali huwa hawajui kama hapa ni ono no tech zone. Kwa hivyo, ni wajibu wetu kwa zidi kwa lezi ya watu ya kwamba, uzuru ambao uko mahali hapa uache vile vile ili wengine wajachukua wazi kuangalia zaidi most people are now aware what is happening within the climate change uh, sphere people are now aware about the color resilience and the restoration program that we have and how well people can be able to create adaptive and mitigation measures and how they are going to live within the climate change sphere i guess, I guess time, time will tell uh, with with the climate change the way it is um, but we, we do our best, I think, protected areas, getting the awareness out there, trying to reach out to governments, trying to reach out to 
people of influence that uh, affect uh, you know the the the, uh, the poorer communities around the place it's as a lot of it is based uh, on the first world countries are, are causing the most damage and that is filtering down to the third world countries whose carbon footprint is is minimal to say the least coral reefs are home to 25% of the global ocean biodiversity at kuritu it is estimated that about 30% of the coral has been lost. Francis Mtulaki, Citizen TV, Kiruitu, Kilifi County.